Alright, now if you're chilling there, Splinter. Okay, so we are fighting, uh, Krang, right? Well, if there is a beat the level without taking damage. Objective, I failed that twice. Punch in the face by this. Possibly same one. Oh, you. This is not good. I wanted to care about the spikes, but I guess no. Oh, they do. Special 
delivery. Ah. Solid ground. I understood when you were like in the mud or something. Oh, this is tricky. It really doesn't make sense because it should be, it should be right under them. Okay, that's right what I need. I am invincible! <laughs> wow. Andre really does try. Separated to go for the head. Oh, I see. Pop up on, oh, I thought he was gonna like appear on the screen and like laugh after. <laughs> you 
got all the shards way out. Oh, am I going to have to actually fight, like, the Statue of Liberty itself? I mean, that doesn't matter to me. I'm not American. <laughs> I shall rule the earth with an iron fist. Well, I'm Canadian, so this works. It's okay, Lady Liberty is French. <laughs> you got it from another country, so don't worry. It wasn't here to speak of it. We'll say it hurts like hell. Yes, I did. <laughs> Oops, we blew up the statue. Oh well. No harm, no foul. Ah, <laughs> uh, now comes Cyber Shredder, right? Or super shutter, rather. I will get my revenge. Hey, chill out. So I kind of just let him do his thing. Finishing it without super attacks wasn't my. <laughs> was your, that was your plan, not mine. It's alright, still got three more lives. There we go. My revenge? Impossible. 
Oh, that can't be good. <laughs> yeah, he'll be fine. He always does come back. I was not at all scared. <laughs> Damn. Casey, where the hell did you come from? Where were you this entire time? Yeah, that was a good little story mode thing to it. That's, a, that's about like the, a good uh, length for a beat em up mode. And I know there's a lot of other stuff with it too. There's like there's the different modes. I know there's a DLC that just came out that I'll have to, or came out recently that I'll uh, have to get at some point. Um, not now, though, because my backlog is <laughs> clogged to hell and back as it is. Seriously, I, I have... I have so much in my backlog and so many RPGs in it, and it could Probably, if I wanted to, it could keep me occupied until the PlayStation 6 comes out. <laughs> like, Backlog is legitimately the main reason. Well, that and that, until Baldur's Gate 3, I haven't really had any PS5 exclusives that I've been... I mean, Baldur's Gate 3, though. There hasn't really been many uh, PS5 exclusives I've been super interested in, so it's like... <laughs> got all these PS4 and... Hell, even... Switch and 3DS backlogs. Um, let's go through. Before I get to some other things, but it's good that I got like this out of the way. Because, like I said, I think I'll be. I mostly do my weekday stuff for uh, RPGs and, and that, so it's good spending my like weekend update things on things that I just feel like just chilling and playing. Um, but yeah, like I, I did honestly have a lot of like <laughs> fun with this. Um, and it'll be good to go back with, to it when I uh, do get to the DLC or when I want to like Maybe check and see how all the other, how some of the other characters play, or um, you know, check out some of the modes because I know there is like the online multiplayer thing to go through it. So we'll see how that fares. Um, I'm sure how it, how fun it is depends on uh, whether your teammates are the assholes that steal all the pizzas from you or not. But you know, <laughs> that's a whole. Uh, different thing altogether. It also does kind of make me think I should have uh, picked up Streets of Rage 4 when it was on sale too, but that's alright. I have the, um, I have uh, Uden Rising to get to as well because that's a little beat-em-up thing for, uh, Get ready for your Uden Chronicle. So that'll that'll be fun. Um, yeah, I'll get back to. Uh, <laughs> I'll 
I'll get back to Octopath 2 during the week. And, um, like I said, the reason my Zero stuff has been going slow is because I've been wrapping up uh, Sky Games. What if you get anything from unlocking a game? I mean, I'm guessing from the fact that like Casey literally just like like that Casey Jones literally just showed up randomly in the uh, <laughs> randomly in the ended thing means I guess maybe you unlock him, which would be good. Cause that's another thing to sort of another reason to go back and check on it. Um, oh, I didn't realize Michelangelo and Mackin are the same one. Okay. But yeah, like, honestly, you can, uh, you can tell that, like, a lot of love and passion went into this, into the game. And that, that's something I'll always, like, respect, um, you know, more than, like, more than budget or how, you know, how AAA something looks or how much money it makes or how many people are in it or all that stuff or, like, hey, this is something, this looks great on a resume or whatever, you know, it's, like, what matters, like, more to me is, like, that people like that you can tell that like a lot of like care and that went to it instead of you know that it's like I want to put out like a good and fun game or anything instead of wanting to put out a uh, something that will just look good or just be talked about more. I mean, obviously you want it to be talked about, but you want it to be like for the right reasons. <laughs> It's sort of like, uh, I guess like how do I describe it? If I was to describe how this felt, it was like, um, compared to some like, of like the higher budget, like AAA games or whatever that are like, that are like, look how great the thing we made is now. Come along and see how good of a job we did. This is like, um, you know, it's like, hey, we had a fun time playing this, so we want you to have a fun time too. Because really, that's like that's what games should be about. And I know I'm <laughs> sounding like the old man millennial that I am, growing up with like Super Nintendo and Nintendo 64 and stuff when it was a different time. But this, you know, this is honestly like a little break to go through this because it sort of took me back. <laughs> ah, I knew it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Blast kicks some shell. All right, I'm going to um just check what Select his stats are. I assume he'll probably be one of the ones with seven, just since you have to be the game for him. Yeah, range three, speed two, power two. Okay. Let's bust some crime. All right. Yeah, so I'll uh, I'll get back to this at a uh, different time, of course. Whether I do upload it or just play it on my own, I don't know. But I mean, ultimately, there's what like five different people watching this, maybe tops <laughs> over, however. Over things, so like, it'd be like a year from me uploading this, and like, and maybe it'll be like 10 people watched it, you know. <laughs> but that's alright, I, I upload these for my own sort of reflective purposes anyway. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for this for tonight, so. 
until some of my other stuff comes up. Take it easy.